Hello kids and welcome back to another cooking lesson. Last week we talked about borlotti beans and I hope you've had a go at that soup. And I want to tell you a little story about it because food is all about context. Food is about other things other than the food itself. So that soup is very popular in Venice which you may know is in northern Italy on the sea. It's the city on water which attracts 20 million tourists a year. And in that city there is a, a restaurant, a famous restaurant bar called Harry's Bar. And the man who invented the bar and operates it is very cunning. And he has taken all the food of the peasants, of the poor people, and he's glorified it in this extraordinary bar. And people go there to have borlotti bean soup. All dressed up with a bit of olive oil and some chopped radicchio. And he charges them like a wounded bull. So people are prepared to pay an extraordinary amount of money to have a burlotti bean soup in Venice, but if you were to give them outside of that context, they think it's just a soup. Do you know what I mean? It's all about context. Anyway, today we're going to do spaghetti carbonara, which is very, very simple. It involves spaghetti, of course, and then some bacon, which is being fried here. I can show it to you. So chop up the bacon and fry it off. You can go as crispy as you like. Then, to make a good carbonara, you don't need cream. Forget it. You, you see carbonara with cream, run away. It's not the real thing. So, for one serve or a bit, let's put a couple of eggs in a bowl and smash them up like this. Perhaps with a little bit of pinch of black pepper. And add to it a couple of tablespoons of grated cheese so that you make a nice little paste like that. So, so far the eggs are not cooked but when you put them through the spaghetti they will cook. You understand? So mix it like that. Okay, I can hear the bacon sizzling there. It's a lovely smell and a great paste. I might not be the healthiest of all things, but hey, it's very yummy. Okay, I'll get up some spaghetti and as usual, I cook them in salted water. Let's say that there's a uh, hundred grams here, which are nice, which is, oops, which is a nice generous portion. And I'm gonna cook it and then I'm gonna bring it all together. So you can see the dish in the finished form. So I've got the spaghetti in with the bacon and a couple of tablespoons of the water in which the spaghetti were cooked, right? So they're nice, they're sizzling nicely, they've absorbed a bit of the water and all we have to do now is pour in some of this mixture. There you go. And on the heat, cook it until it curdles but doesn't fry or doesn't become like scrambled eggs. And that's the secret. It's just to have enough of the heat to have a lovely creamy sauce, but creamy without cream. Look at that. Creamy without cream. And the eggs are not scrambled. So you work fairly quickly. All the lovely juices are being absorbed because I'm a little bit fanatical about pepper. A little bit of pepper. And we will finish it off with some parsley. Now, this loses the heat fairly quickly, so it's best to be quick when you serve it. See, the egg is barely set, but not scrambled. There's already plenty of cheese, because I put three or four tablespoons of it before, as you can see. And finally, I like a little pinch of lovely fresh parsley, just chopped. Don't chop it the day before, always chop your herbs at the very last minute, or even better, tear it with your hands. There you go. Spaghetti carbonara. Very simple, takes 15 minutes to prepare. Most of the time goes in the cooking of the, of the spaghetti. See you next time.